Hey YouTube land, it's Tycodrus here doing another action figure review. Now, this is a review for the Spin Master Batman and Robin figure. And so, unfortunately I don't have the packaging with me for these. But they came in similar style packaging as this. This is the one for the tactical suit Batman which I reviewed before. So on the back they're pretty much plain, they just have all this stuff on the, the four missions that you can collect. Then has the tactical Batman. Um, logo for the ta tactical Batman then it's just Batman on the Batman one and Robin's name on Robin's one and then you have the mystery um, accessory set and then the collector card that's inside unfortunately I don't have the packaging for them I only have these ones at hand so these are the, this is also what comes in the sets you get the kind of the collector's guide type thing so the figures I haven't seen so far are Man Bat and Nightwing, or the Gold Batman, but the rest of them are Robin. So the Robin I got is this one from. This is supposed to be from the Man Bat kind of setup. Um, it's like the Gotham Docklands, and the Batman I got is this one. So it's the Batman from the Carnival set. So it comes with this gear, which none of which are rare. The more common, there's like Toxic Neon, Titanium Metallic. Hydro Translucent, which seems to be one of Robin's, and Stealth Metal, which is the dark grey. Um, I'm not sure what the goldy colour one, that Robin's one is, but I'll get into that in a moment. So, accessory wise, uh, Robin came with these, so he comes with a grappling hook that's designed to look like his Robin uh, batarangs, and it actually has the grapple hook. It's in translucent orange, or sorry, translucent yellow. His staff is translucent as well. It's kind of a dark, um, smoky grey colour. And he also came with a sword. I'm not sure if that's intended for him, or could be intended for someone else. Some of the accessories seem to work with the figures that you get. Some of them seem to be like the Joker one I got gauntlets for Batman with, so... You know, the, not every accessory is intended for the figure that you pick up. Uh, he does hold the sword loosely enough. But he does hold the grappling hook quite nicely. And he also holds the staff, which looks just like a tiny stick, really, to be honest. Doesn't look like a really good quarter staff or anything like that. He does hold it in one hand. He kind of can get two-handed poses out of it. It just doesn't look impressive because it's so tiny. If it had been bigger, it would have been a lot cooler. I mean, it's the sword. The sword is about the same length as it, so it's not the best. As for which version of Robin this is, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the Damien Wayne Robin. Generally, that one has a hood on it, whereas this one does kind of have a hood but it's down it could be the Tim Drake I don't think it's the Dick Grayson Robin because the Dick Grayson one was a good bit different than this it could be Tim Drake and they could be doing it because I have seen images of a different Robin in it could have been just a prototype version of this one it has more yellow on it which looks more like the uh, Damien Wayne Robin that these come with or that is kind of popular at the moment but this one is quite a cool design anyway so he has the kind of standard robin here the green mask the arms can go out that much rotate around single joint at the elbow swivel on the elbow a ball turned ahead but it only gets swivel on it he has nothing to waste he can do the splits that much he can move his legs forward that much can't go back too much because of the sculpt. He does have an upper thigh swivel. He does have a single joint at the knee with a swivel as well. And nothing in the ankle. He does have foot pegs. And he does, if you have something that has foot pegs on it, he tends to fit it quite well. Especially stuff like these um, Fortnite boards. He seems to fit those not too bad. As for Batman, Batman is, I think it's supposed to be the 52 design Batman. So he comes out, I'm not sure if these are batarangs or bat cuffs. 
they could be back cuffs because they kind of look more like they have a locking mechanism on them than anything else but you can use them as both I suppose he comes with a bright orange grappling hook which is not too bad it looks quite good and he also comes with the bat shield that separates into bat blades so it has a handle on the back so that you can if I just get him to hold it he just got a little loose because he's been holding the grapple hook for a bit so he can hold the bat shield in either hand and then it has a gimmick where it splits in half and he can use both handles and use them as bat blades so it is quite cool now whereas the motorbike batman was a repaint and a slight reeled tool of the um, Batman, the tactical suit Batman, which is this one. This dark black version of Batman is, well, he's actually the original version, and the one that came with the glider is basically a repaint of that. So you can see it's the exact same mold, everything's the same on him, the head's the same, the only difference is paint apps for the chest piece and obviously the black versus the blue so they have they're the only differences the yellows seem to be the same on the belt I don't think they're maybe it's a hint darker on the blue one but overall it's the same figure uh, it's a good figure the capes obviously are different as well because one's blue and one's black but it's the same material for both capes he does have the big peg hole thing on the back so that if you have one of the accessories that plug into people's backs you can give him that same at Robin Robin also has that big peg hole thing on his back as well so you can give him a flight backpack if you wish as well overall they're not too bad uh, I do quite like this Spin Master line they're a bit simple but they are pretty good so for scale wise Batman is about just a hair over four inches and Robin is just around four inches and just for scale comparison as the only other Robin figure I have in this sort of scale here he is or here they are next to the Funko um, is it reaction line versions of Batman from 66 so you have the Adam West style um, Adam West and Burt Ward style Batman so there you go and then for another interesting thing because the Batmobile from this new line can't fit the can't fit two figures and can only fit one you can put Batman into the old Funko Batmobile and have Robin riding alongside him as well in the old Funko style Batmobile they don't look too bad in that so overall they're not bad figures if you have those weird uh, Batmobiles they did do a whole bunch of different random colored versions of them as well they look not too bad in it overall it's a good figure set or they're good figures they are individual figures so and they're not too pricey they're just under the 10 euro price point over here which is quite handy which is interesting considering the fact that uh, Hasbro when they were trying to push the Star Wars figures the five points of articulated figures they were all around the 10 euro mark and they have less articulation whereas this relatively unknown company Spin Master have gone to great lengths to actually make moderately articulated figures for a less than Star Wars figure price point and it just shows you can still make really good figures for you know relatively cheap price points which maybe a Hasbro should uh, take a few notes from so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this video review and as the same videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel cheers guys